Hello, this is Susan Kelmer. In this video using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC version, and you could use the standalone version as well, um, not the reader version, um, I'm going to show you how to create a file from four different documents. So this is a different way to do uh, com combining files other than the drag and drop method. And um, a, a very smart person told me one time that there is more than one way to skin a cat which sounds terrible, but it's true. Um, there are more than one way to do things. And so as I'm going through these videos and showing you how I do things, um, it's important to note that you should choose the methods that work for you. And if you have better methods, you should use those. So uh, what I wanna do is to create a PDF from four different documents. And the documents actually are here because I used them just a little bit ago uh, in creating the other video. But what it is, is it's a front matter file that actually was broken into multiple pieces and that became an issue because we couldn't easily send these files to the student. Things were split too deeply and we really just want all of this front matter material back together. So there's a cover, copyright, contents, and about the author. So to do this, I'm um, using create file. We can do file, create, and then we have a lot of choices here. So we can create PDFs from a scan, from a file, from clipboard, etc. What I'm going to do is combine um, files into a single PDF. So I'm going to choose that, and then it wants me to add files. So I can drag and drop from my file window if I would like to. Whoops, not that one, this one. Um, so I can drag all four of these over if I want to. Yeah, I do need to activate it. Um, so I can do it this way. So it's added all four of those files there. I could have also um, clicked that Add Files button and it would have allowed me to go out and navigate to the file folder that I wanted to be in. Now I wanna make sure they're in the right order so yes, these are in the right order, but I just wanted to make sure that we have our cover, we have our copyright information, the contents, and the about the author that are all going to be in the same file when we are done. At this point, I can choose combine, and it will put them in that order. And it only takes a, a few seconds or so. I can always look at my page thumbnail view to make sure everything ended up there from those original files. And it does appear that they have. And then at this point, I can go ahead and save this file. So um, that's as easy as it gets. Uh, you can use, a, use that file combine, um, create file combine uh, to get this result as well. I think this is a little quicker than dragging and dropping, but it does take a little more organization on the front end because you need to be organized about those files, get them in the right order, know what you're looking at without actually having to see the files. So that's where it's important to do a little front end work um, if you're going to use this method. And of course, I would go up here to file and would save this document. And that is how we combine files using the create PDF function. Thanks for watching.